guys it's me and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am super super excited because i will be filming the look that andre did on me my version <laughs> because andre's was debatable <laughs> he did a good job though i will give him that he did a good job for saying that he's never done makeup before so i will be creating the look so if you haven't watched that video we've already uploaded it i think two weeks ago we uploaded it and yeah just go and look to see what that look looked like um but this time i will be recreating it which is super exciting um so my ways my techniques and um, if i need to add something i will but i will be using all the products that andre used in that so the same colors of eyeshadow same pigments same eyeliners <laughs> And yeah, just all that. So I'm super excited to film this. Um, so before we start, please like and subscribe and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy this. And yeah, let's get on to the video. So Andre, I have the video up here on my computer, as you can see. Let me just. Well, this is Andre's computer, but I use it. <laughs> so I have the video up here to like to refer to the um products so i don't forget them because obviously i want it to be very exact so my hair's a bit wild today but we're just going to ignore that so i'm just going to look and see what he did first he started off with the charlotte tilby magic cream and serum great products and um, like i said last in that video actually i got them new so i have been testing them out and i have been loving them and yet they've been making my skin super clear and super glowy and yeah i've been really really loving them so before we start off i'm just going to grab my clips to clip back my hair so starting off with the magic serum i'm just going to take a little bit of this just one drop and then we're just going to massage that into the skin you can see it's really nice and glowy looks like i love the smell it smells like a spa that's what i can like oh it's just beautiful really really love it so yeah that's that now going into the magic cream I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this because it is super thick so you actually don't need a lot I'm only going to take that amount and then massage that you always want to prep your skin before makeup because you'll actually see that your makeup goes on a lot more flawlessly when you always apply your skincare and like then your base is set and i always make sure to apply my moisturizer and serum before i do my eyes because and then it gives it time to sink into the skin so that's also oh, super important to always do so that is skincare done now so next he did brows which is good i always start off with brows because brows frame the face they also frame the eyes so you can see what eye shape suits you so that's why i always start off with brows first and andre used pink honey my favorite product in the world i absolutely love this um changes your brow game i really recommend it i think she's just sold out of it all this is the new strawberry one one of my probably my favorite i've just ordered lots more as well that have um come in so i've ordered the new cola one and the original and the raspberry as well because i'm running low on them so i got this one so that's one of the new ones these spoons like this so i'm just taking that going to spritz it with some water spritz 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 and then you just swirl your brush around in there until you've got it on your brush okay let's grab the mirror we're just going to start off with brushing up the brows Andre actually did a really good job of the brow, so I can't fault him with that. So all you do with this product, you brush it up until you're happy. And then what you do, you run your finger over it so it sets it in place so it doesn't budge. No, I'm missing Andre today. I like him being in my videos. He's like, I've got someone to talk to as well, which is cool. But I am talking to you guys. So I hope you've been enjoying the videos, everyone. I've really been enjoying making them. So um, also clearly you guys have because all the views and the likes, I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. I wouldn't think my channel would grow so fast. So I really do appreciate it. And I love you all very much. But, um, I don't think Andre put any product through them. He just left them like this. I don't mind leaving them like this, but I do like to apply a little bit of product. 
So, taking um, a Molly O'Brien Millie brush, one of my favourite brow brushes, and I'm taking the Browsings by Benefit in the shade 5, and all I'm doing is I'm just brushing this through my brows just to fill in the gaps. So I'm just using a light hand, so holding my brush a lot lower, and I'm just flicking this in the direction of my natural brow shape. Okay, you don't want defined brows today, that's what the fluffy effect is for, to create more of a natural effect. I'm just flicking that through the whole of the brow. Okay, so super lightly, just flicking that through. This is one thing that I wish Andre did, he didn't prime my eyes and I, I did say I'm gonna prime my eyes now. No, you're not feeling that? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I will be doing that today because like I said, I'll be doing my steps that I do and I think that work. So that is what I'll be doing today. So today I've decided to use the P. Louise base, one of my favorite products. I also love the Helen E base. Um, I love them both, they're great. Um, but I will be using this today. So taking that, this is in shade two. Take a Doll Beauty DB11 brush. So it's just a flat brush, as you can see. And what we'll be doing here is we'll just be defining the brows and also applying it as a base. So I like to take the flat edge of the brush. So I like to take this flat edge here and take this along the brow. Okay, so we're just working that along the brow. I'm taking my brush vertical as I get to the arch so I can be more precise. I'm just taking that down. You don't want to rush this step because this step is your canvas and this is going to be your blank canvas for your eyeshadow. And obviously this is the step, um, the last step of your brows and then the beginning step of your eyeshadow. So you want it to be really, really perfect because it's going to give us that nice guidance then for when we come to the eyeshadow so we can really blend it out. So it's going to be a nice clean canvas onto the eye. As you can see, I'm just tapping this on, just creating a really even base of that. So I've just applied an even base. Then I'm going to take a Molly O'Brien Tory brush and then I'm just going to tap this in. So I always say with using any liquid product, you always want to make sure you're tapping this into your skin. So you're creating a seamless blend. I'm going to take a tiny bit under the eyes as well because we will be applying eyeshadow under there. I always make sure as well I blend out all these edges here because if they dry you won't be able to blend them out later. So really make sure you blend them right out. Okay, so that is the base done on this side. So I'm just going to be on this side and I'll be right back. And I am back. So just like that, with a click of a finger, it was done. So um, now I will be um, doing the eyeshadow. So always after my eye base, I um, do eyeshadow because then my eyes are prepped and they are ready for eyeshadow now. So I'm just going to take my brush, what so I blended that out with quickly, just to make sure there's no creases because if there are creases, the eyeshadow will sit into them then. So you always want to make sure you blend them out. And the Be Perfect Time Stay To Me XL Carnival palette, one of my favourite palettes, my go-to. I always use this and yeah, as you can see, very well loved. And I remember Andre used the shade Temptation and Persuasion in this look. So this is the colours that we'll be using today. So I'm going to try and create a look with them. So obviously Andre started with, I think, I don't know which shade he started with first. Maybe it's actually started with Persuasion, which is good because you never want to start off with a glitter shade. You always want to start off with your matte shades first so you can always blend them out and then always applying the glitter on the front of the eye. Okay. So starting off, I'm going to take a Doll Beauty DB12 brush and I'm going to go into Persuasion. So it's like a nice wine colour here. So we're taking that, okay, and I always like to start off tapping it on first because tapping motions really build up that colour. So I'm tapping that on first to build up the colour. So I keep going back in, tapping off the excess and dabbing that on. And as you can see, we're taking this on the outer edge first. 
So I'm going to do my little own take on this today. So I'm going to be creating a little bit like a halo eye. So a halo is where you have, or like a spotlight is where you have the centre free and that's where you apply your glitter. So when we've applied that shade, then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush. So this is a Morphe M441 brush and just to help blend that out because obviously it'll be hard to blend out on its own, I'm going to take the shade Makeup. I hope that's not cheating. I hope it's just going to help me out a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to take the shade Makeup so it's like a muted pink. And we're just going to go along the edges of that shade just to diffuse that colour. Just ever so slightly. As you can see, we're doing circular motions. I never like to do swiping motions with eyeshadow because I find it drags the eye and also just drags the product. So I'm always doing circular motions to diffuse that product. Okay. And I'm joining it at the top. harsh lines as we're blending out of course and um, naturally um, you lose the pigment of the color so you always want to go back in to intensify that pigment so I'm going to go back into persuasion so that first color we use the same brush just to tap that on just to build it up a little bit more and then we're going to blend that out as well so just blend that out slightly with the same brush and then go back in with the Marvi M441 brush and the shade makeup using that light hand technique as you can see so I'm not applying any pressure and we're just going along the edge of that shade to buff that in. Make sure you're blending out all these harsh edges here as well. Okay, so as you can see we've done that now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Temptation just as you saw that glittery shade and I'm actually going to take my finger for this and we're just going to pack that on, that centre. And also, Andre used um, glitters as well. So we used Pink Panther and Hocus Pocus from Peaches and Cream. So we will go in with a bit of that as well, just to intensify this colour. Okay. Then blend any of them harsh edges out. And then while we're here, I'm going to go into them two shades that he used. Making just a small fluffy brush for this. So this is a Doll Beauty DB13 brush. Couldn't read it then. And I'm just taking that. Can you hear that? The ice cream man. Ooh. I'll just have a peek. Oh. Sad times. I really want one. Right, can that shut up? <laughs> okay. So you can see we're just tapping that on. So it's just adding a bit more colour. Building up. I like to take a fluffy brush when I'm doing more of a diffused look so it's a lot softer. And then at the same time I'm also going to take a bit of Hocus Pocus as well. Just to also darken up the look a little bit. So it's giving it a little bit of like a purpley blue iridescence then. Okay, so it's just on that centre. And then now we're going to do the under eye. So taking obviously a smaller brush now so it can be a little bit more precise. So I'm going to take a bit of a smaller brush. It's a Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. Taking Persuasion again, taking that under the eye. And we're doing a spotlight, so we're keeping that centre free again. Because obviously when the spotlight hits you, it hits you in that centre. The shade makeup just to blend out that edge. And I always like to blend a lot further down so I can always clean it up after. Because you always want a lot more of a cleaner um, and softer blend than a harsher blend. So that's why I always go a bit more further down. Then taking... Temptation again, and we're applying that on the eye at the bottom. Pink Panther again. And then also a bit of Hocus Pocus. So 
Okay, so I'm just gonna have a look at what all the products he used because I've kind of forgot. So he also used the NYX liquid liners. I'm just gonna have a quick look at the video, what he did with them liners. I know he put one under the eye, which I really don't wanna do, but is that cheating? Can you see? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can see what he did. So we did pink on top and then white on the bottom. So I'm gonna take the NYX vivid liner and this is in the shade um, Vivid Petal. Oh, look who's joined everyone. Andre has come Hi. to say hello. I've come to, I've come to check if come Mia's makeup is up, to, up standard. to standard, exactly. How's it looking? Hmm. Not as good as mine. No, I don't <laughs> think so either. Not as good as mine. Okay, so coming on to that pink liner. Um, I'll leave you to it, I'll let you concentrate. Thank you. I definitely have to with this look. Mm. Hard, very tricky. Mm -hmm. I am a makeup artist after all. I know. Okay, so we're just creating a little wing. Yeah. Just on top. I don't think I can beat Andre to be honest. That line that he did was just goals. <laughs> you really can't beat that. Okay. And then he went in with the white liner then, so I'm gonna take the next one. He went under the eye. I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different. See if it works, hopefully. more of that pink so as you can see I've done a little bit different than what he did he took the white under the eye I took it on top just intensify that pink a little bit more okay so the lashes he used and um, was Samantha doll beauty here so I'm just gonna grab the lash these are already trimmed and obviously this is where he poked me in the eye everyone which wasn't very nice it hurt a lot but taking my eyelid glue and I'm just taking along this the band of the lash and then I always like to let that dry so while we're here uh, while that's drying I'm just going to take a highlighter and this is what Andre didn't do he didn't highlight the brow bone or in the corner which I do like to do so I'm going to take the highlighter that we always use in our face. I always like to make sure we match it. So I'm using Viva. Oh, you can see yourself there. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, so I'm using Viva out of um, the Doll Beauty palette. One of my favourite highlighters, super pretty. And then I'm going to take a Doll Beauty DB15 brush. It's super tiny. So then I'm taking that and we're going to apply that right on the top of the brow bone. So underneath the arch. Okay, and then also on that inner corner. And then obviously help blend that out so there's no harsh lines. And then what I'm also going to do to take that white, what we kind of what he did underneath, I'm going to apply it in the waterline. So for this. I like to take um, a blank canvas by P. Louise, the acid rain paint. This is amazing. And this is what I always do my white liner, well, like um, waterline with. It's super good. So I'm just going to take a small brush. It's just from, it's just a really tiny brush. I just needed something like this. And then I'm just going to take that in the waterline. So I'm just tapping that on like so. And joining that to there and then I'll neaten that up and then I'm just going to take the same brush just clean that off with a wipe 
and then I'm going to go into the white shadow out of the Carnival palette, which is Pillow Talk. So I'm just taking the white and tapping that on, and then we'll just go over that edge at the end, just like that. Okay, so our lash has dried now. So I'm going to take Doll Beauty tweezers. And then I always like to apply it directly in the centre of the eye. So let's see where it sits. And then just pinch the outer and inner corners down. Okay, that lash has stuck now. So all I'm going to do is take my mascara use the bad gal bang from benefit so that's what i'm going to use today so then i'm just applying that on the bottom and then just on my natural ones at the top that is the finished eye on that side so now I will go off camera and do the other side so I will see you in a sec and just like that my eyes are finished it's probably the best I could probably do concerts considering the colors <laughs> but um it would look a lot better when my whole face is finished so it is now time to move on to the face I'm just gonna set the water it's quite thirsty lovely right okay let's crack on so andre um didn't want to use primer either he wasn't feeling that um so i won't use primer either normally i would but like i said he didn't so um next he used the huda beauty foundation very good choice my favorite so that is what i'll be using today and um, this is in the shade latte so it matches my tan perfectly so I'm just going to squeeze some of that onto my metal plate and then taking my Molly O'Brien P brush, favourite foundation brush, I would just go in to tap that in to the skin. Always tapping in liquid products like I said at the beginning and I'm not taking that near my eyes because I will be applying concealer. Andre didn't apply concealer either. <laughs> he wasn't feeling that. Pulling back the hairline. Make sure you're always going down your neck as well. Because it's looking a bit cray cray at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. Taking the um, L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I'm sure he used the... Oh no, we actually, I just said I didn't use the concealer, what's wrong with it? Okay, so um, I'm taking this, this is in the shade Cashmere. I'm just going to take a little bit of this under the eye. This is also going to help clean up that eyeshadow. Just taking that and I'm feeling like I want to blend it out with a beauty blend today. This is normally not me, but I'm kind of, I want to do that. And Andre also used the sponge. He likes the sponge. So I'm just taking that. Just tapping that into the skin. I'm just taking any of the excess in that T-zone as well. No harsh lines. Okay, so another little trick that I always like to do, I like to do cream contour. Um, Andre didn't do that either. <laughs> so I don't think you know what cream contour is. So I'm taking my Huda Beauty, my favourite one. Um, this is in shade light. And I'm going to take the bum of the Beauty Blender. And where you want to angle your contour is from the corner of your mouth to the top of your ear. But you're only don't, you don't want to go past the nose. Because if you go past the nose, then it's going to be creating a drooping effect. So you always want to stay back towards the back of that cheekbone. I'm just doing small bouncing motions. Just adds a nice little bit of structure to the face. Just going 
also full head. Okay, so now moving on to powder. My favourite powder um, to set my T-zone because that is where I get most oily and you always want to be setting your T-zone because obviously that's where a lot of girls get oily and boys. So um, I always make sure I set that. So my favourite powder to use for that is also from Huda Beauty. As you can see, I'm a big fan of Huda Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Powder. I absolutely love this. So I'll be taking that in the T-zone. So I'm just going to grab a small brush like this. So this is a Morphe M-O, no, E48. <laughs> and then I'm taking that under the eye. So where we apply that concealer, so it just sets under there. Also in that T-zone, like I said, because you don't want anything to crease. I'm setting that under eye because we will be going over with bronzer or contour powder with that so obviously that's a powder on top of the liquid so you want to make sure you always do your liquids and um, before your powder going in to contour now i'm actually just going to use a bronzer today so what bronzer did he use hmm. no he didn't use that he used oh my god yeah i remember he used a glowy bronzer Oh no, I'm going to have to do it because he used it. Okay, right, we're just going to just lightly just tap over this. Oh my God, I'm being so careful. Oh, nice and glowy today. I'm literally using the lightest pressure here. So this is a Morphe E4 brush really just lightly tapping over that see it's giving a nice glow but i'm just a bit nervous <laughs> know that out. i always like to tap it in because then i'm not swiping my skin because we don't want to drag it okay let's see what other products he used he used blush yeah he used mac sweet my sweet blush my sweets super pretty gonna go in with my molly o'brien arabella brush just taking that and where you want to apply your blush is just on that right on the apples of the cheeks when you smile you see them and just tapping that on i remember now mj really wanted to go for that glowy effect because this is also a glowy blush and when i use do like a pink eye like this and i'm using a pink blush i just like to blend out that edge there just into the temple so it creates that wing oh my god i just nearly knocked that water over oh that was close swinging it out into that temple blush is my favorite step of my makeup routine it makes such a difference it makes you look so much more healthier so i always recommend applying blush and what did he use for highlighter oh yeah he used the doll beauty viva highlighter so i'm taking that and um, what i normally do before highlights i take like a setting spray so i'm gonna take um because obviously to go with the glowy look i'm sure i didn't have this at the time and i've got it now so i'm sure he would have picked this and this is the max fix plus um, magic radiant radiance sorry and i'm just gonna spritz on the face and it gives just like a glow to the skin it's a subtle glow which is super nice feels nice on the skin so always make sure you fan that in before your highlighter otherwise it'll stick and you don't want to do that in adult beauty db5 brush and viva and we're going right on the tops of the cheekbones so where you want to apply your highlighter is directly underneath that brow bone and the same on the other side And on the tip of the nose, in the corner of the nose, and keep it full. And I'm going to take a little bit just on top of that brow bone. <sighs> now it's lips, guys. I'm really nervous for this. I'm terrified because remember, Andre did the half lip, 
half purple, half pink. So I'm going to take my own little take on this. I'm very nervous, very nervous. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Shrine palette, what he used the purple with, and I'm going to see how this goes. I hope it goes well. Okay, so I'm just going to take a smart. This is a Molly O'Brien, I think, Thalo, Taylor, I think. And I'm going to spritz that purple and I'm going to use it a little bit like a lip liner. I really hope this works. I really do. And breathe. I wasn't breathing then. Wow. Okay, so we have that now. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to take that pink lipstick. So we use MAC um, Oh Sweetie lipstick. So I'm going to take that in the centre. And then just to finish off, I'm going to take my big bronzer brush again and that shimmery bronzer. And I'm just going to make sure everything is blended out. And I'm just going to check we haven't forgot anything. I don't think we have, which is super. Okay, I think that is finished look so this is my version of the look everyone uh, so obviously i had to try and do my best here because obviously the colors aren't great like the lip i would rather do a nude lip with this but obviously andre picked it so i was doing it i actually don't mind the glowy skin looks very glowy and um, summery which i like eyes i tried to do my best with the liner i think i did okay but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've actually learned some new tips and tricks that I've said. Obviously, I didn't explain my whole routine, but maybe if you want to get, have an in-depth makeup routine on how I do my everyday makeup or something like that, please let me know. Um, also, just like a competition look, I'll definitely do that. But thank you so much. Really, thank you for the support. I really, really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you all very soon. Love you lots. Bye.